Day one, I spend all my money on a deserted island getaway package. Two animals approach me. I'm rather concerned and I fear for my safety. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're actually gonna be starting a new island. That is correct, I got a new switch in the mail today and we're actually going to be starting a new island from scratch and we're going to be doing some vlogs or some just i don't know travel journals of our experience here in animal crossing new horizons and yeah let's just kick back let's have some fun and let's see where this adventure takes us so here we are at that old <laughs> it feels like quite a while since i've seen this but really this game came out in march so really not that far long ago Good evening, we're so excited to see you here, have you here. Let us begin the first to congratulate you on the wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. There is so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy with Nook Inc, I presume. We'll be a flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday? Alright, so our name is going to be what it should be all the time. We're going to just go with Keldon here. Perfect. And our birthday is actually going to be my birthday. 413. There we go. Yep, April 13th. Keldon, Keldon, let's see. Oh, yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Keldon. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. When you are. And I think that just about does it for us. Let's go ahead and... Oh, wait. We forgot our eye color. It's got to be green. Now let's confirm. There we go. Great. You're all set. All set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. So tell me, Keldon, where do you live now? I live in North America currently, but I also want to have an island in the Southern Hemisphere because I do have a island in the Northern Hemisphere already, so we're going to say elsewhere. Oh, it seems a lot like a lot of folks live elsewhere. Yeah, that's true. Let's see if we can narrow it down. Let's go with, I don't know, Europe. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we recommend that you relocate on the Northern Hemisphere. No, Southern Hemisphere. I don't know why I figured <laughs> Europe would be Southern. I know it's not. Oh, you want to mix things up? Well, that can be fun. Well, go ahead and find the perfect uninhabited island in the Southern Hemisphere for you. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. Sounds good. Um... So here's the options that we have available to us. I do like this one here, but I'm not a big fan of the circle on the middle because you're not going to be able to see a whole lot of your island at the beginning. Uh, where's the airport at in this situation? I'm assuming it's going to be the, right here at the south where the big rock is, so it would be pretty close to... Uh, the town square. I do like this one, how far off the town square is away from the airport. So I'm actually tempted to go with that one, just for that reason. Um, I'm going to do some soul searching, and I'm going to decide on an island. I'll be right back. Alright, after some not-so-careful consideration, I'm going to go with the one right here. I think that our town square is far enough away from the airport that I, I'll, I'll be happy with it. And I seem like I'll have enough room to really start growing at the beginning. 
Wonderful choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could only bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? Um... Yeah, probably some food. That's just, you know, the safe bet. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. Nook Inc. will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. I hope so, with as much money as this probably has cost me. Your attention, please. This is the service of uh, the chartered flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. I'm going to cut out of here. I'm sure you guys have seen enough of this. See you at the island. And here we are, flying in for the first time. Snow already on the ground. I'm rather, I'm rather curious on what our starting clothes are going to be flying into a snow-covered area. Starting fruit is apples, which was the same as our other island. Bit disappointing, but I'll take it. It's not peaches. And we got cherry, and I'm not sure who that... Uh, chicken is, but I'm happy with Cherry that she's a good uh, starting villager to have on hand. We're here. Now I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home. And why am I starting in a t-shirt in the snow? Whatever. But I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now. If you'd like to move with L, follow us. Hi, you're goose? <laughs> Silly goose, you're a chicken. You're not a goose. We can chat later. I want to see where this is going. Alright. You guys following me? Oh, I thought you were actually following me. Well, let's go check out what Nook has to say. I like how they're in scarves and hoodies and coats and I'm sitting here in, in short sleeves and a pair of like white pants. That, that, that'll be fun. Alright, we're here. Oh, I gotta talk to you, huh? I, I can do that. Alright, is it everyone? Let's see. Is Cherry here? And how about Goose? And there's Keldon, of course. Great, we're all here. And tr I'll turn it over to m you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook, Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook, Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But first things first, yes, yes, I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections to in construction and real estate, and, uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please, collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. Will do. Oh, wait, Timmy or Tommy. Uh, clearly, I can't read. <laughs> Hi, Timmy. Thank you for the tent. And let's go find a spot. While I'm looking for a spot, I want to take a little bit of time to talk to you guys. This is going to be a themed island with our villagers. I'm going to have one specific villager type on this island. And I want you guys to help me out. What villager type? Well, not one specific villager type. One specific species. What species should I bring onto this new island? I'm thinking wolves or bear cubs. So would you guys rather see bear cubs or a wolf island? Leave it down below. And the one that gets the most, you know, votes will be what we decide to start hunting for coming up in the future wolves or bear cubs please let me know um but other than that let's go ahead and look for a spot to set up i don't know exactly where i'm gonna want to set my tent up i have a very limited area i know i don't want to be on the beach i know this is like a deserted island getaway but i don't want to be on the beach um I wish I could get over there. I do like that look. Is there any waterfalls nearby? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I am not sure where I want to be. What do you guys think? I'm close enough to the water without blocking it off. I think this will be a good starting spot. Definitely will be moving it in the future, but I do think this is where we're going to go ahead and begin here. And there we go. We got our tent set up. And now I really need to start moving 
are thinking where I want Cherry and Goose to be. Oh, I can't pick that up yet. Okay. Um, probably just going to put them nearby for the time being. All right, let's go move them around. So I'm going to need an axe to take down this tree out from, but I do really like the spot that this house is at. So we're going to go ahead and put Goose's house right here, and then we're going to put Cherry's right next door. So let's go ahead and go pick up her tent and get that set as well. And I moved Cherry to being our neighbor. It's close enough uh, to the original spot where I wanted it, but, you know, having such a limited area to maneuver and put stuff right now is really going to kind of hinder what I wanted to do. That's all right, though. Once the game starts going, we can move the stuff around. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spot uh, spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really, get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business, like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Cherry, Tommy, and Goose can set up things here at the plaza. Meanwhile, Kelton and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. All right, everyone, let's get to it. Kelton, would you come see me for a moment? Uh, sure. What's up, Tom Nook? You gonna tell me to carry both of them? Just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one laying around, pick one up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the apple-like items grown from the trees. I suspect they're real apples. Great. What are you doing that... Uh, whatever. Uh, okay. Let me go gather. You know, he, he's gonna go inspect the apples to see if they're you know, apples, and then he's going to send me to collect those too, so you know. What does Tom Nook do other than steal our money? It's a good question, it really, it really is. And that will be all ten branches, allow me to lighten your load, here you go. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire, you make quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like apples, they smell like apples, and they even taste like apples. In fact, they're 100% without a doubt genuine apples. So will you collect six of them for me? Um, like, why? You just... Uh, while you were eating them, why didn't you just collect six while I was busy collecting firewood? Oh well, let's go ahead and pick up these six apples and get this tutorial all finished up with. And then tomorrow, the real work can begin. We can start getting our house, start getting the island spruced up. Very excited for this playthrough, guys. I really am. Well, well, I knew you were the one, right one for the job. I'll go ahead and take those apples off your hands and get started on the preparations. All right, here you go. And fade to black. What am I going to name this island? I really need to think of that. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Tom Nook is magic. He's a magician. He didn't even use a match. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? Ho oh. ho. Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? I see, sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, present your ideas. Ooh, boy. Time to think. And there we go. Outset Island. My commemoration to the Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker. Yep, we're gonna go with Outset. 
All right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready? Go. Outset, buff bug, guitar bro. <laughs> what? What splendid variety. Yes, yes, each one is a potential gem. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the ones you think is best. Keldon seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So Keldon suggested Outset. Well, thank you everyone except Nook, who didn't clap for our island name. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Outset. Okay, sounds great. Absolutely. Splendid. From, then, or from now on, this island will be known as Outset. Well, Keldon, since you've proven yourself by naming Outset, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. What, what, what a surprise. You haven't done much of anything since we got here. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Outset. Thank you. Thank you. Keldon, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? A word or two. I'll be, I'll be that sarcastic guy. Hmm, so we've settled on a name for our island, and we've settled on our, res our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Everyone have a beverage in hand? It's fresh juice made from apples our new resident representative harvested from this very island. Then, without further ado, a toast to Outset and the happiness of its residents. Cheers. I do like that animation, the little cheers one. That's the only spot I think that is actually used, and it is a good animation. Where'd you get the tambourine? Sitting around a campfire with cups of apple juice, it almost feels like we're a family. You can uh, you can call me bro. All right, bruh. A party around a campfire on a deserted island. Wow, this rocks. What, what? Ah, Keldon, having a good time, yes? I know this is a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. I'm not tired yet. I'm gonna actually look around the island a little bit. I'm probably gonna go ahead and clear up all these weeds while I have the time. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. We got past the little tutorial area, you know, had a lot of fun. Outset is ready to go. Uh, I'm excited to start bringing you guys Outset diary logs every, well, not every day, but decently often until we get up to a point where we can start hunting and decorating Outset Island as well. So if you guys like this video, leave a like down below, a thumbs down if you didn't, of course, let me know why in the comment section so I can try to improve the content for the future. Uh, while you're down there, go ahead and hit subscribe if you're not already. Ding the notification bell if you want to be notified of things that we do here, any future giveaways, any future content if you're interested in it. And of course, guys, if you made it this far with me, I want to ask you guys one more time, what villager type do you guys want to see here? Wolves or bear cubs? And until the next one, guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you so much for making this a possibility for me. And yeah, I was trying to wave and I can't. I don't have any emotes yet. So until the next one, guys, take care. Good night. Good morning. Have a great day. <laughs>